this is going to be fun. Yes. What's up Machine Freaks? Welcome to today's vlog. I hope you guys are feeling froggy fresh. Unfortunately today, it's rainy and crappy. We still got a little bit of snow on the ground, but it's wet and clammy. But I'm not going to let the weather tell me how to feel. I feel good and I feel great. I got my rain boots on. But what I want to accomplish today is I want to fix my jacket, which is right here. It's a skidoo jacket. I broke the zipper on it. My dad bought a jacket for me and him a few years ago, a while ago, and for some reason both the zippers broke. So I wanna get that fixed so that once snow does get here and it stays here and we don't have to deal with this crap, then my well-zipped jacket will keep me warm while I'm wrapping it on. Well, now I'm with Ian. We are going up to Kyle D's place. He's going to buy a pool table or something like that and he needs help moving it. It must be a really big pool table because uh, he called like four guys. Look at these freaking skis. Those <laughs> skis are still mind boggling to me. It's got crayons on it. Ian. Oh, we got tarp. Oh, brand new. Brand new. Brand new. Wow, in the package and all. Oh, we got some shells? Oh, these are mine. Oh, those are yours. Is this thing even gonna run? It's gonna run, don't you worry. So, we were going to pick up a table for somebody and we weren't even gonna let them go? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we made it to our destination, I think. Ian, what are you doing? Getting ready to rock? Well, we are locked and loaded, literally, with bullets and everything. What? How much you want bullets in that room there? The upper one? Yeah, the upper left one. I hope not. So, how are you guys want to take this apart? Ian, what's the plan here? I don't know. You don't even mind. It ain't even near it. It's not even mine. So, what happens? This snaps in half then? No, I think the frame stays together, but this lifts off of that. As long as it's in 50 billion pieces, by the time we get home, we'll be good. That's the idea. We have to take the pool table apart so we can get it to this guy's house. Crush us, you know? Oh, 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 oh. I gotta see if I can see that on the replay. Well, why don't you guys get your shoes? We really can't put our shoes. Yeah, you don't want our shoes. You don't want our shoes. Yeah, you don't. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Hold on, don't. Looking good, boys. Looking really good. Holy fuck. Oh. It's getting heavier. Why is it getting heavier? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You gotta run me over. Oops. Set her down for a sec. So we're going up there? Get to the okay, side. are we putting it on, on wood or on felt? I would say on wood. On wood? Okay. This is going to be fun. Yes. Alright. Go. Yeah. Hold it, hold it. Hold you got to hold it towards you. I ain't holding it towards you. Well, it's going to be on the ground. If you put the tarp on top of that and then put the top on, then you can protect the felt. Ian, you could be a good boss. You're like Gene Cheeseman. Oh, yeah. This has turned into one mess. You got mine facing the way, right way? Line them up. Okay, I will just walk in them. I gotta see this. <laughs> You're gonna have to like stutter stuff for me. <laughs> <laughs> Textbook. That was so textbook. See, we have the tarp down on top of the felt so that the felt will uh, be die. be protected while we drive home because we're not very close to home. We ended up getting the pool table. It took a little longer than anticipated. Jack. See, I've never met this kid <laughs> this or this tits. kid, so Woo! we didn't make it like three miles, and we already got to stop for drinks.
I'm gonna put a little grape on there. Okay. Oh, shoot. I'm supposed to be getting the shot. You Where's know, that? after all that heavy lifting. We made it to one of these kids' houses. I don't know whose it is, but they backed the trailer right up. Someone, somebody definitely got the shit. dog shit. Probably, Probably me. me. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, what'd you step in? We picking up or what? I'm not, nobody's helping me. One, two, four. <laughs> me. It's heavier now. Come on. Oh, here we go. I gotta get a shot of this. <laughs> Mr. Shades was like trying to do it by himself, and I, I was impressed. I was really impressed. Oh, he brought my boots in even. He, Check I'm that guy you. out. Even though it has dog shit all over it, <laughs> it wouldn't bring him in. <laughs> Them things. Getting into his fruit snack. Yep, I got stash. Mr. Shades has a surplus of fruit snacks, and I'm taking advantage of that. Mr. That one had a hair in it. <laughs> <laughs> like a boomerang. <laughs> yeah, but they probably don't go back to his face when they fall off. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's all in the driveway, huh? So we ended up losing a drawer out of Kyle D's, two. or two drawers. We dropped the hardware in Kyle D's truck. We dropped the pool table probably a couple times. Not like completely, but we did. It's heavy, it's really heavy. I kept on saying like, why are these guys having so many problems until I finally grab it? And I'm like, whoa, that is heavy. I bet you 500 pounds. gonna take it all the way off to get the shot. Trying to be a team player here. That's right, man. Are you doing a half inch and nine six? Right. Yeah. So far, fantastic. It's, it's going great. Right, Mr. Shades? One of the new guys dropped Kyle D's uh, drawer full yeah, of sockets. We made it back to Kyle D's. We're jumping into Ian's car. We're, we're taking it off. We got the pool table installed, but there are some leveling. Well, let's just say I need some adjustment. Before we, before we get into fan mail, I want you guys' feedback. Recently, I've thought about switching things up a little bit, doing a couple more experiments. Like, I like experimenting and I like learning and, well, let's just face it, I like destroying stuff as well. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen the Thousand Degree Knife and some cool stuff and some not so cool stuff. But anyways, I have a perfect environment. I have a garage filled with tools and, and things that I can hurt myself with. I'd like to do something there. So if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comment section below. And also leave it in the comment section below if you approve or disapprove of this. It wouldn't be like everybody else's video. It would be like 3D machines experimenting. 3D machines is already awesome. Mix that with an experiment. Hoo, hoo, hoo. You got an awesome combination, baby. But anyways, I'll let you guys boil that in your head. But for now, we got a couple pieces of fan mail. Looks like a shark tooth necklace. A rare coin with maybe a bullet hole in it. Dear 3D Machines, I tried to give you a mixture of stuff. You succeeded in that. Hope you're feeling froggy fresh, as always. Love your videos, keep doing what you're doing. Jason, I don't know how to say your last name, so Jason S, thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. I'm dialed. Thanks for the picture, Sammy. Hey 3D Machines, I'm Cameron Rozak. I designed and 3D printed this keychain. Feel free to spray paint any color you want. Thank you very much, Cameron. 
Hi, nice 3D Machines, my name is Jack. I just wanted to give you a keychain so that you can always think of dirt bikes when you grab your keys and turn on the Duramax. Keep on making awesome videos and brap on. Thank you, Jack. Thanks for all the fan mail, you guys. That's all we have time for. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out.